Uh, hey, I'm Corey. I am with uh, Community uh, Kitchen Co-op of Co um, KW, and uh, I've been pulling some food out of my garden, and we thought it might be fun to uh, show you what to do with stuff that you might have an overabundance of. Um, if you're like me, you've been gardening like crazy through the pandemic, because it's a great thing to do, which means I've got a bumper crop of a few things. So today I thought I'd show you how to do a classic pesto. So we have fresh basil. I'm going to throw in a little kale because it's what I have in the garden. Garlic. You know, most recipes say use two, but uh, I don't ever follow that. Uh, I'm going to use some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, which I've got uh, shredded here. If you want to do a vegan version, you can use uh, nutritional yeast. Just a couple scoops of that gives it a bit of a cheesy flavor. I've got some sea salt, some olive oil, some pumpkin seeds. You can use pine nuts if you want, but uh, I ain't got money for that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to throw a little lemon juice in just to keep it uh, nice and green. So we'll get started. First you do about half cup of seeds or nuts. Cashews work well too. I'm not much for measuring. So that's my toasted pumpkin seeds. Uh, and then I'm going to throw the garlic in. And cheese, you know, um, three quarters cup is good. I'm doing a little more because I like it. And then you're going to grind these up a bit. Blender works um, or a food processor. Okay, so gave those a little head start on the grinding. Uh, next you add your greens. It's going to take a bit of pounding to get it down. Uh, might have to do it in batches. Lots and lots of olive oil. Okay, so about three quarters cup of olive oil or more for every six cups of basil leaves. It's a little trial and error just to see what the consistency is like. So, a pinch of kosher salt, sea salt, any kind of salt. Now, lemon, you don't have to add it if you're going to use it right away or if you don't like the taste. Uh, but I like to put a bit in because it preserves the green color. Uh, and you can also freeze the uh, pesto with a bit of lemon juice in it and then it'll keep the color nice. So I use lemon. I use a lot of lemon because I actually really like the taste of it. You can use fresh, you can use bottle, you can use a pinch of citric acid if you have it around. That's the same job. Now we grind. No basil until you've got it all in there. In you go. Okay, so you want it to be pretty well blended. Uh, it's nice to have some green flecks, see the basil. Um, but yeah, that's about the consistency you're looking for. Uh, one cup of this is enough to feed a family of four a nice spaghetti pesto dinner. So, uh, so this is enough for several meals. So that's it. If you want to store it, you can put it in jars. Don't fill it all the way if you're going to freeze it. If you're going to use it in the next couple days, put a little oil on top and that'll help preserve the color as well. And that's pesto.